Hi, welcome to FaroArm and Power Inspect tutorial series. In today's episode, we will see the procedure to probe plane, circle, etc. For this purpose, we will be using a block blade and measure the features. Using the software interface with Autodesk Power Inspect, we can probe the features. The probed features are visually represented on the screen. Let us first stick the block plate to the surface table using glue gun. It is mandatory to keep the component being probed immovable throughout the process. We have fitted the 6mm probe. How to fit the probe has been discussed in an earlier video. Now let us see how to activate it in the Faro Arm Manager. So go to Faro Arm Manager and go to Probes and then Click on 6mm probe if it is not active. Double click on the Autodesk Power Inspect Ultimate Manual icon. At the bottom right, we find Autodesk CMM Driver Faro Devices icon. Right click on the icon and click Connect. We will be able to see Machine OK message in green. Click on New File and go to Geometry tab. Click on Geometric Features. We are going to use this for creating features which have to be probed for inspection. Here you will be able to find different tools which will help us in probing 2D and 3D features like plane, circle, cylinder, etc. Let's start by probing a plane. When this dialog box opens, just click OK for the time being. And then using the arm, let's start probing. So after each point, you can see that the count is increasing on the dialog box. Then after eight points, just click on the red button. So here you can see on our screen, a plane has been formed. Now let's probe for a circle. Go to probe circle and we can see this dialog box. Click OK. Now let's start probing a circle. So here you can see the count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I have taken 5 points and you can see on my screen a circle has been formed. Now repeat it. So we are going to probe another circle. So do the same again. So we can see we have probed one plane and two circles. Let us discuss the procedure in detail. When we click on probe plane, a dialog box opens. Here we can name the plane we are going to probe. In the second tab, we can change the number of points to be probed. If we check auto accept enabled, the probing will stop after the points mentioned are probed. If not, we have to click the red button on arm to come out of the command. Number of points represents the minimum number of points required. We can change the number to a value higher than the one showing here for getting more accurate data. But we cannot lessen the minimum number of points. Probe path can be seen on the screen because of this command called view probe path. So wherever my arm is moving, it is being simulated on this screen. Let's continue the previous probing exercise that we have started. I'm going to probe another plane. I'm going to name this plane as left plane. Click OK. Now, let us probe the left plane. So we can see the simulation on the screen also. So I have taken six points. Now I'm going to take probe plane again. So this time I'm going to probe many planes at a time by first creating all the features. So I am clicking on OK and repeat and I will be able to create another feature. So all the features that I need, I can record them first and then play all of them together and probe one by one.
Now I'm going to create mini circle features to probe the remaining holes on the block plate. Let's probe the center circles. The block plate has chamfer all around the top face. So let's probe these angular planes. Let's create four features for the same. Now that we have finished probing mini features on the block plate, we will see how to generate an inspection report in our next video.